It's only a matter of time before the infinite Tsukuyomi activates. The fact of the matter is, your war has ended. No, it hasn't. Sasuke and I are still here. Seems to me, these two could be Obito, even infused with the Ten Tails, right? The power of Ten Tails is equal to the Sage of the Six Paths. And its ordinary strength would be difficult to cause even a hint of damage. would only be Naruto and Sasuke. Plus, we've got these two rivals who are actually friends teaming up to fight. This is getting really intense. Up to this point. Due to a barrage of attacks from Ten Tails, as well as Obito and Madara, many members of the Allied Shinobi forces lost their lives. Neji Hume was among them. I know about that. Let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> With their combined resistance and Naruto's words, Obito's heart was gradually softened. At last, Obito was rendered powerless and the allied shinobi forces erupted in celebration. But this celebration was short-lived. Madara had absorbed Ten Tails' power and became the second sage of the Six Paths. His power was now overwhelming. The ninja fought frantically to the death against him, losing one soldier after another. Just as things were looking bleak for them on the battlefield, two ninja rose up to face Madara. Of course, this was Naruto and Sasuke. They were the only two who stood a chance. Defeat me. I have the power of a six. I'm not gonna defeat you, stupid. We are gonna defeat <laughs> you, mother. Your head looks different again. What happened this time? He encountered the sage of the six paths in the spiritual realm between life and death. And together with Sasuke, they borrowed his power. Life and death? Both of them were mortally wounded by Madara. Huh? So they both died? They didn't die. They were on the precipice. Come on, you gotta be kidding. Is this for real? I mean, how did he get that far with them? How strong is this Madara in chief? I don't know. I guess Madara was obsessed with creating that infinite Tsukuyomi. Madara was trying to destroy the ninja world. He wasn't always this way. He was once a noble man. Dude, are you serious? Madara was compassionate? He lost his beloved brother, broke away from his friend Hashirama, and was betrayed by his clan. A series of tragic events combined to make Madara into the man he is today. He's working to create a world of dreams based on his own dreams. Let me fight. Well, the time is come to lead this fight. After a back-and-forth battle, Naruto and Sasuke managed to contain Madara. But Madara refused to stop. He turned the situation in his favor, and finally brought about infinite Tsukuyomi. Oh crap! You gotta be kidding me! The ninja world was pulled into his dream, 
with only Naruto and a few others left behind. The fourth great ninja war had ended, and Madara was victorious. So he thought. It was thought? It's time to gather up all my chakra and unify it once more. Hey, hey, who the hell is that? Sealed away in ancient times due to possessing too much. Team Seven is on the move. She's known as the Rabbit Sasuke, Goddess, Sakura, let's the go. Demon, and many others. Let it to you. Go, Aura. Kamikichi. Naruto, Sakura, let's end this. What happened to Madara? Seek with me, Kurama! Kill me, planetary Rasen Shuriken! Madara had a companion named Setsu, who he trusted with his life. He thought Setsu was working with him to carry out the plans of the young. But once Madara confirmed the plans had been completed, you won't get away. Zetsu wasn't a true friend to Madara. He was actually working to resurrect Kaguya. He used infinite Tsukuyomi to gather chakra for the resurrection. Eventually, Madara himself was used as the vessel. So we're moving on? <laughs> It was truly a war of earth-shattering proportions. Thanks to the quick wit of their companions and fierce fighting by Naruto and Sasuke, they were able to get through countless desperate situations. And Kaguya was sealed away once again. So they defeated the true mastermind? Is that where it ended? No. There was still some unfinished business regarding the long-standing connection between two star-crossed friends. The connection between Naruto and Sasuke, and its eventual destination. I... I guess that makes sense. They were only able to accomplish one thing up to this point. Conflict, and nothing more. Over and over again, scars, ravaging the heavens above and the earth below, full of agonized cries and bitter rejection. And then... Enough already! Just let me cut you down! You can't cut your connection to me! Connection, this connection, that! Just shut up already! The connections are what make this world such a pain! But the stronger the connection, the more it tortures me! And Naruto! My connection to you is the most irritating one of all! After fighting Obito, Madara, and Kaguya, Dad ends up clashing with Sasuke? It's fate. That's all I can call it. Sasuke was hell-bent on one goal. Fought and fought to see it through. But Dad still refused to give up on him. The efforts Naruto made to save Sasuke would soon apply to his entire range of life. By giving and receiving our support, building and protecting connections with friends, Naruto diligently followed his hand. This battle. All of our 
They're both so beat up. What happens in the end? Both of them expended all of their power in a life or death struggle and fell to the ground exhausted. Lying there, beaten and battered, they each expressed their feelings. In spite of everything, Naruto's pure intentions remained. Nothing could change his undying love for his friend, and that would soon soften Sasuke's hardened heart. At long last, Sasuke came to accept Naruto's friendship. Sasuke finally changed? Wow. So, the two guys I know today... It would be foolish to try and explain the rest here and now. But what your father achieved can be clearly seen in your village today. As ninja history moves on, Naruto remains at the helm. The light! Even brighter than before! The time has come. Let's get back to the Time Reservoir. Right! You've done well. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen quite a lot, chasing your father's memories through time. I thought I knew everything about my dad already, but I didn't even scratch the surface. It's like... My dad was... Man, was he cool. His life had a big impact on history. That's why he's also the key to returning the memories to the ninja world. <gasps> Is that Nanashi's? The fourth memory appeared, but it's different from the others. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. You'll have to check. Hikari. Yes, the ninja world may still be in the darkness right now, but I want this child to walk within the light. That's why I wanted to name her Hikari, meaning light. Is that strange? It's a good name, right, Hikari? Hikari Uchiha. That's her real name. Then why does she call herself Nanashi? Having lost her parents and finding herself being used as a tool for war, her heart broke, and she was given a new name. Nanashi, meaning one without a name. That was the new name given to her. Having lived her life like a doll, a name must not have been important. What? Damn it, this is making me so angry! She lived her life in the shadows, with no future ahead of her. And now the ninja world is headed toward a similarly shadowy path. A cold, dark path. With no light to speak of. I'll never let that happen. Right. That's what the memories are for. Naruto's memories that you've collected will shine light on the world. Now, 
Let's restore the ninja world to what it once was. Yeah. Connections born of Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Run and spread across the ocean of memory. Memories. Resurrect here and now. Thank you. 